Hi friends, welcome back to Feed the Sheep Podcast. I'm your host, Kelsey Keeling with Balanced Ruminant Grazers. I'm a wife to my soulmate, Ryan, mother of four, daughter of Christ, who is always working to be a Proverbs 31 woman. Join me as I share my passion for hair sheep by taking you along as we work to create a balanced sheep flock of Australian whites in South Central Kansas. I hope these episodes and conversations not only educate you, but inspire you to add our sheep to your farm someday. Now let's get to talking sheep. Welcome to the first episode of Feed the Sheep podcast. This is actually the trailer. I just wanted to give you guys kind of a brief overview of what the podcast is going to be about and um, what to expect. And then also um, just kind of explain the name that is behind this podcast. So um, let's dive in. So uh, feeding the bottle lamb right now, (laughs) trying to make him happy so he'll be um, be good for the background. We'll see. Anyways, um, so I've been stewing over trying to come up with ideas for this podcast and stuff. And it's not very hard after you start talking to sheep people and, um, you know, all the questions that I had as a beginning, um, sheep farmer. Um, I mean, there's like a million, you know, (laughs) like, what do I do about this? What about when this comes up? Like, oh my goodness. And if you've ever talked to sheep people, I feel like they're just super friendly and willing to talk to you and they want everybody to learn, which is awesome. And I just see the value in sharing that knowledge with others. And, um, so that's why I think I just have this burning passion to share this podcast, um, with people. I want to eventually get to where I can interview people that are in the sheep industry in different, um, topics, um, ranging from finishing sheep, uh, you know, to, um, what netting or like what type of grazing they do, uh, management, sheep breeds. Uh, there's just so many things that we can dive into and I'm so excited to do that in the future, hopefully with some interviews. Um, for right now, the first hundred episodes that I will be doing are, um, all about beginning sheep farmers. So like all the questions that I had when I was a new sheep farmer and, um, trying to prepare for sheep, what I needed to prepare for and just everything that goes into that. So that's what these first hundred episodes are. The first three are just going to be, um, me talking brief overviews about, um, who we are and different things like that. But I am so excited to share this with you guys. I'm excited to learn along with you. And I just think that there's so much value in it. And then the last thing that I wanted to share was just the uh, name of this um, podcast. I think it's really important and it has a lot of meaning to my heart. Sorry, like I said, I got a bottle lamb here. Um, but the the... The meaning behind the name is actually from um, the Bible, from uh, John chapter 21, um, and it's verses 15 through 17, I believe, is what it was. Yeah, and um, essentially it's just Jesus telling Peter to, uh, you know, share the gospel, share um, share uh, the love that he has for God and my husband and I have just been having this calling on our life to share our faith and, um, you know, feeding the sheep is something that we do daily. And I thought that it would just be a great way to tie in, um, a ministry of sharing, um, you know, sharing with you guys, just the reminder that, um, you know, uh, that God made a farmer and that leads into the other part. I'm sure you guys have heard this poem, but I printed it off since I'm using my phone for, um, recording, but it is, um, by Paul Harvey and it's God made a farmer. And I just want to read one little bit out of it and, um, just talk about it for a second. So it says, God said, I need somebody strong enough to clear trees and heave bales yet gentle enough to tame lambs and wean and wean pigs and to tend to the pink cone pullets who will stop his mower for an hour to splint the broken leg of a meadowlark. It had to be someone who'd plow deep and straight and not cut corners. Someone to seed, weed, feed, breed, rake, 
and disc and plow and plant and tie the fleece and strain the milk and replenish the self feeder and finish a hard re week's worth work with a five mile drive to church. And like, if you've read that full poem, I just like, even just that part, it's like, oh my gosh, like, why are we so crazy to be farmers? Like, that seems like a lot of work, you know? And um, just recently we went through a drought this last year and my husband Ryan and I just, our faith grew so much more knowing that God was with us, um, you know, through that drought, holding, holding on to um, our faith with him. And I just believe that, um, you know, we all need that daily reminder and need to be reminded why God made farmers, because even though it's crazy hard, it's so fulfilling and it's just so good to be stewards of the land and to his animals the creation that he made so that is the meaning behind the name and um, i'll be sharing like little affirmations or prayers um going forward in each podcast episode but okay we'll go ahead and end it here and um i will see you guys in the next one okay thanks guys bye